watch. This segment is sponsored by the Harlem Globetrotters. The famous Harlem Globetrotters have officially kicked off their 2023 world tour as they near their 100th anniversary. And next month they're coming right here to the DMV. I got the chance to catch up with one of the team members, Scooter Christensen, about what we can expect this season. Scooter, we are so excited to have you and your fellow Globetrotters back on the court. How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Uh, 2023 going to be a big year for you guys. This big world tour you've got going on. That's right. You know, we kicked off our tour uh, the day after Christmas. So December 26th is our U.S. tour, and it goes all the way to about the end of April, I believe. And okay. then you have, um, or actually the end of May, I, I should say. And then you have our, our overseas tour. You know, you got the Europe tour, the China tour, the Australia tour, the South America tour. So it seems like it's like never ending, you know, <laughs> but it's but, but we're having fun. That's 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 what that's what that's what counts. That is what counts. And that's what your show is all about. It's fun for all ages, right? With somebody that hasn't been to see the Harlem Globetrotters, what can we expect from your show from your game? show <laughs> I, always, I always tell people that it's not your average basketball game you know we have you know we're, we're the type of team that makes you feel good we're the type of team that makes you smile and puts joy and puts a smile on your face you know um you know you're gonna see you're gonna see some high flying dunks you're gonna see some some basketball wizardry in our ball handling we're gonna dribble on the floor as we're sliding on the ground but at the same time, we're, we're eating your popcorn and we're bringing your kids <laughs> on the floor and we're dancing with them. You know what I mean? So it's, it's all mixed in one. Uh -huh. We do a great job basketball and entertainment at the same time. So it's, it's very fun. And teaching people how to spit a basketball on their finger, right? That's right. That's right. You know, just, you know, it's just. You make it look so it, easy. <laughs> It becomes a little, it's, it's, it becomes easy. I, I mean, I sleep with this thing every single night, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Osmosis there. Can you believe it's been nearly 100 years of the Harlem Globetrotters? I can't believe that. You know, uh, when people ask us that, we always say, you know, well, we haven't been around for right. 100 years. But the organization, you know, started in 1926. And uh, what this is like, what, our 97th year? Wow. And uh, wow. just for it to be going for this long, it's, it's been a, a true honor and a blessing, you know, just to be a part of this ball club. And for the, the uh, know, the the guys that, that came before us, you know, mm -hmm. like Metal Art Lemon and Curly Neal and Geese and uh, Marcus Haynes, all these guys that played before us. And we used to hear stories of them and how, how they made people feel. And hopefully, me and my teammates will be doing that for the next generation for sure. What is your favorite part about being a Globetrotter? Uh, I think it's, you know, it's definitely we get the opportunity to, to play the game that we love. Uh, we get to change people's lives through the game of basketball. And uh, I think it's just putting a smile on somebody's face, you know, because we all go through the through days where we have ups and downs. Mm -hmm. But we know if we see a Globetrotter game, we have that opportunity to make you laugh, make you smile, and make you feel good just for those two hours, you know, and and that changes uh, that changes people's lives, you know. We we've seen it, we've heard it, and to know that we can do that through the game of basketball is one of the best gifts that we can give our fans. Yeah, we we've, we've seen the power of sports and how it brings people together all the time. Of course, I mean, yes, you have your competitions and you know some friendly bidding going on there, but sports brings people together. How does it help you? It shape your life. Uh, it's, you know, I've always told people that, uh, basketball is almost like, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of like, like the game of life, you know, mm. in, in a, in a, in a basketball game, you know, you have, you know, you have your ups, you have your downs and, you know, you have, you know, sometimes you're mad, sometimes, you, you know, you, you get frustrated <laughs> and then you're happy. It's, it's like a, you know, all this life, all mixed in that one yeah. little, <laughs> in that one little two hours, you know, but, but, it, but I always tell kids one of my messages i tell kids you know you never get too high when good things happen to you you know you want to get overconfident you know you don't want to get satisfied but you want to stay hungry and sometimes when things go down this way don't get so low on yourself you know mm -hmm. you, where you just don't want to give up you want to have an even kill and uh and always have a smile on your face yeah. and just do the best that you can well and you all help bring those smiles to everybody's faces so <laughs> We are excited that the Globetrotters are going to be in town. Scooter, thanks so much for taking time with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. And you can go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com for the game dates and ticket information.